Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gospel here, and again, before the video starts, you guys know the drill. Please make sure to use this code in the Fortnite item shop. And guys, when you use this code in the Fortnite item shop, this is going right back to my subscribers. Yes, I said it is going right back to my subscribers. So, um, I plan on doing future giveaways, and this is going to be my fund for these giveaways. So, if you guys want to have some giveaways, and you guys just want like to have some fun in Fortnite, please use this code in the item shop. It will be very, very appreciated. And again, I'm investing this all back into the YouTube channel. And a quick disclaimer before we start. In any single way, I do not report any cheating in Fortnite. I do not promote any macroing. I do not promote any type of cheating or any type of gain that is caused by cheating. I do not promote that. I'm just giving my views on this and I'm giving my views on somebody getting by the ban hammer because I searched this up on YouTube and not many people have made videos about it and this happened in my game. So I was very surprised and wanted to make a video about this. And a quick disclaimer, once again, I do not promote any sort of cheating in Fortnite. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the question of the day, which I will start doing, I'm starting on my community tab again, just like I did before, so everyone can be interactive with the polls and all that stuff, to see what I'm streaming tomorrow, or just to have a fun vote. What is everyone's favorite LTM? Catch, solid gold, um, I'm going to put snipers only, high explosives, and one shot. Everybody, what's your favorite LCM? Personally, mine is high explosives. I like it because, first of all, you don't have to be good at the game to win. You can just have a full squad or a, or a duo just attacking you and you could lose. It provides no competitive advantage. With solid gold, it's just basically a normal game with gold weapons. Also, th there is something very, very cool in the item shop. We even discussed this on stream. So this is very, very sick. So guys, if you could go in and use this code to buy the to buy the a um fortnite classics pack that would be very very amazing and guys if you want to my twitter is in my about page so if you guys want to send any video clips to me so you could be featured on the goss boss gaming community tab or you could just post it to your youtube channel if you buying anything over 1000 v bucks you have a chance to be featured again we can't feature everybody but we will feature a select few as soon as possible we try to feature everybody every single day that sends us a video so it's going to be very very appreciative if you use the code and if you're buying a blue skin or something again post a video to youtube or send it to me on twitter anyways guys i'm not going to hold you up let's get right into the video hey what's going on guys it is gospel here in the daisy video guys i will be doing a video on the fortnite ban hammer and now you guys might be wondering why the hell i'm doing a video on this and i'm about to explain to you guys in this video that's what i will be talking about today actually two people in my lobby literally got banned for the fortnite ban hammer and i literally have proof inside of this video so guys make sure to stay tuned like subscribe and just watch this video clip that i'm about to pull up after after the intro and basically me explaining why the reasons why i think they got like banned and i think why this all happened Okay, so inside of my lobby, there were two players that got banned, and this is why you should never, ever try to get in the same game as your friends and play. Because, ladies and gentlemen, in my lobby, two people got banned in a solos match. I have the clip. I'm about to pull it up in one second. But anyways, before I go into this on all, all that sort of stuff, please make sure to use my support creator code, the Fortnite Item Shop, because it really, really does help out the whole entire YouTube channel. So please put that in. It would be very, very helpful. Anyways, though, um, yeah, make sure to do that. And also, guys, please make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that stuff. But anyways, um, so there are two people inside of my Fortnite solo lobby. C keep in mind, this is a solo game, and two people got banned. And again, this is why you should never get try to get to a game with your friends. So, ladies and gentlemen, I was in a solo game, just playing around, just just trying to have a fun time, just trying to just release some energy, like like before I play another game or something, or just trying to mess around and have fun. I think I was trying to do challenges at that point, actually. So, okay. I, anyways, I was in the middle of doing my challenge, and I was just looking at my the kill feed right uh, I saw a lot of people were dying and then I saw struck by the ban hammer so I was like what the hell and then I oh, and I clipped it right away and then the clips gonna be in this video so I think and the only reason why someone would get banned and the only reason why two people would get banned in a Fortnite lobby is definitely because of teaming if it was only one person there could be anything with aimbot there could be a um there could be like invisible so you could like go invisible you could go see chests you could go um you can i think macros cheating i don't know you could do that um 
And you can basically do all that sort of stuff to get advantage at the video game and cheat and get banned. So if two people got banned in the same solo lobby, the only conclusion is that it's teaming. And keep in mind this was at the exact same time. I thought it was pretty cool since I've never seen someone get struck with the ban hammer like in my life. Like I've been playing Fortnite for two years now, and that's the first ever two deaths I've ever seen by was struck with the ban hammer. But anyways, let me just pull up this clip. You guys got to look at this. This is just this is just crazy. Oh, so two people were struck by the ban hammer in my lobby. No. So you guys saw a video clip. So um what do you guys think happened to the people? Comment down below. The only conclusion again I have is teaming since I, um if both people got banned in a solo lobby, it's it's obviously teaming. There's a lot of things you can do like bullying and all that sort of stuff, but I don't think it was bullying if it was in the solo lobby. And also, I'm actually pretty impressed if they were teaming. Not trying to promote teaming at all, but keep in mind I play on NA East servers. So if I play on NA East servers, you know it's very very hard to get in the same game as another person. Um, first of all, NA East and NA West are the most played regions, so I was pretty surprised if they found each other in the same Fortnite match. Because even if you guys are ready up at the exact same time, there's millions upon millions of people playing on NA East servers. So I was really really impressed. Also. Um, with teaming, I also don't think that's something that would happen since, again, as I was saying before, there's lots and lots of people that do all this teaming and all that sort of stuff. So, um, so yeah, there was, a, there was a lot of people that do teaming. But again, in any East with over millions of people and hundreds of thousands of people that play this video game, um, especially just on any East, that is very, very hard to do. So again, in no way am I promoting teaming at all, but it's very, very impressive that I get, they actually got in the same solo game inside of NA East servers. That's the only conclusion I have to that part, but I'll get on another part why they would get banned in this video. But that's the only conclusion I have to that part. Um, again, very hard to get into a game, especially in the East, but um, that means they'd have to queue up at the exact same time at the exact same second and get into the exact same match as those people that they're playing with. Pretty hard to do. Don't know how they did it, but honestly, epic. I'm not sure to promote this at all, but pretty cool the next thing I would have is aimbot since both of those people did kill over 11 people in the lobbies I would show replay but this match was actually a long time ago it was, it was before the wailing woods house actually got risen so it was it was a very it was not a very long time ago but it was like a week or five days ago or th I think three days ago at minimum so yeah it was it was quite it was quite a bit of time ago I just didn't feel like posting it and I didn't have any valid reason of what I could possibly think until I googled up Fortnite cheats and then I realized teaming, aimbot and all that stuff was accountable. So let me explain this to you. The first person got 18 kills and if you search up his Fortnite profile, which again I don't know, you can search it up in this video, um, but I already have this already. So um, go, you can go search it up. Um, just go search up his name tag, rewind the video or something. So um, yeah, you can go search up his Fortnite name tag and he actually has a lot of wins. So the one account is legitimate. The one account, he actually has over, I think 900 wins. So that's legitimate. He's been playing since season one. That's pretty legitimate. But the second account is not legitimate. The second account is literally his first game on and he has got over 14 kills. Maybe it probably was a bot account or maybe it was something like that of that nature but 14 kills and his and his friend that was the good one with over 900 wins got 19 or I think 18 kills so he basically they basically both killed almost half the lobby each like if you combine the scores it's basically almost half the lobby since again the whole lobby wasn't killed yet before they did get banned so they were obviously teaming and if you guys did look at the replay like I did they were teaming together and I um they were fire. It was pretty obvious they were teaming. Like they were, they were a distance away from each other, but they only shot at the one person. And when that person died, they would just go in the separate directions. So it was pretty obvious that they were teaming. But it was also obvious of how consistent their shots were hitting. 
Unfortunately, I didn't want to record the replay since I was just interested for myself and I never even thought of the decision to make this video. But then I realized this would be a pretty cool video to make and show all you guys since I I believe it's very hard to see someone get struck by the band hammer and I have never seen this. So I thought almost you guys have never seen this before. It, actually, this is a really common practice on PC, but if you are on a console system like Nintendo Switch, on PS4, Xbox, or even mobile, this is very, very rare. Mobile and PC, it's obviously not so rare since there's a lot of cheaters on mobile, especially to get a bigger advantage since mobile is the easiest platform to win money on. So it is a very big advantage to win on mobile. So there is a lot of cheaters on mobile, but especially on PC as well, there's a lot of cheaters on PC since PC costs a lot of money. So therefore they would be more likely to cheat since if you're willing to invest $1,000 or 1,500, or even up to three thousand dollars on a gaming PC that's a lot of money and people obviously if you're investing three thousand dollars into a console you can definitely spend a hundred or two hundred dollars on cheats again I'm not promoting it at all but I'm just saying it happens mostly on PC and mobile I have never cheated before and I don't think you guys even speculate speculate me to cheat since I'm so bad at this video game I'm honestly horrible so I don't think you even speculate me Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure to use this code in the item shop, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Gosh, boss out.